I'm Vanessa Canby and I'm here with Naomi Hello. who has kindly let me speak to her about having her home birth here in Ghana yes. and also you moved from the Netherlands to Ghana here yes. as well mm -hmm. so I'd love to find out a little bit more about it. Sure. So when did you move here? Uh, we moved here last year October so October 2020. And why did you decide to move here? Okay are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> it's a long okay so um, so I'm, I'm, I'm also half Ghanaian mm -hmm. as well. So I came to Ghana like almost every year uh, and I always felt like I want to move to Ghana. And like over the past couple of years when we lived in Holland, I was like, I'm not feeling it. Like I wasn't feeling like I was home and all those things. And eventually um, last year, um, you know, with the whole thing that happened with George Floyd, mm -hmm. the whole situation, it was like, I don't know, it was something like the whole story about it and the racism and, and although it, it was in the US, it also happens in, in Holland. So I was like, no, I, I want to escape like the, the, the whole environment, the racism in Holland, and I want to protect my, you know, my husband and, and, my, and my daughter at, at, at the moment because I was still pregnant. Um, so I was already like, okay, I, like I want to go. Mm -hmm. I'm just fed up. You know, I want to be around people who look like my husband, who look like me, my daughter. And uh, so then we uh, planned like to move like within a year. But then after, uh, I found out I was pregnant. Oh, right. And uh, so when I was pregnant with my first daughter, uh, that was in Holland, I gave birth also in the house. Oh, right. <laughs> That's okay. another story. Cool. <laughs> so, um, but after I gave birth, I was alone in the house a lot uh, because my husband is a business owner and he travels a lot for his work. Uh, so I was alone in the house a lot which made it very hard you know when you're alone with a newborn yeah. the you know Especially doing the things first, in the house your yes first baby as well like exactly exactly so so it, so it, it was a hard time and um so so then i said like if i get a chance to get pregnant again then i would definitely do it more differently because you know in, in europe the western world it's like everybody is on its own. Mm -hmm. And when you come to Africa, like here in Ghana, you see like um, you have a whole community, yeah. you know? Yeah, so everybody's helping you. And so when we found that I was pregnant with the second, I was like, okay, let's go. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so then actually within a few months, we, we came to Ghana. Wow, yes. so like a lot of the time here, I feel like, people that I might know might actually travel to like the UK yeah. to have their baby rather than traveling here or staying here yeah. when they get pregnant they think okay I'm gonna go there and have the baby there yeah so you've done literally the reverse yeah because I had my um, the my first uh, home birth in Holland the, the experience was it was so nice it was it was so beautiful I was so it was it was just perfect and then I knew from then that, that if there is no medical reason for it or anything, I would just do it again. Mm -hmm. So when we moved to Ghana, I already knew that I'm, I was going to do a home birth. And I know the stories, you know, about uh, the people from here, they go to the, their, their, their home country or something to give birth and then they come back. But because we moved, I didn't have a house in Holland anymore okay. to go back to and, and give birth. And, and um, so yeah, so but I was I was like no, I want to give birth in Ghana in my house, and I I don't need to go to to Holland for for my birth or um, yeah, yeah so like yes so, so I was like no, I, I'm gonna do it here. Oh, that's so so amazing. Yeah, yeah. So what did you have set up? Like, did you have to find a midwife? Did you do any checks <laughs> with a doctor or anything like that? Yeah. So. So before uh, our move, I was doing some preparations like um, looking on the internet if I could find a midwife here in Ghana who can help me to deliver the baby in, uh, at home. Um, and it was so difficult to find one. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like looking on Google, I was looking on, on Facebook, Instagram, just looking for a midwife. And I spoke to some 
and they, they all said they don't do home births and um, and they also said like no I advise you to go to a hospital for this and that reason blah 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 but I was like no, I just want, want I know yeah, what yes, I want yes and and I appreciate your advice but I didn't ask for it I just want I just, I just want to know like if you can help me or not and and yeah so um, eventually like that is crazy how the universe works because I was like almost like giving up because at some point I told my husband like you know I'm just gonna do the birth without a midwife present and but he was like <laughs> He was probably thinking. I'm he not was ready like, for that. No, so he was like, no, you know, so I support the home birth and everything, but I do want, I would like Somebody a midwife, yeah, so around, you know, just in case or anything. So I was like, okay, I respect your wishes, and so, so I was continuing my search for a midwife, and then. Um, I started looking on Instagram but by hashtags. Okay. I never do that. <laughs> Look at like this millennial way that we have to I find know, people. I know, I know. So I was, I was, I was looking to, through hashtag like uh, hashtag home birth Ghana or hashtag uh, midwife Ghana or anything. And eventually I, f I found a, a lady, her page and I was scrolling to her page and I was like, oh, that like she, she understands it. Like, so I messaged her and then um, we had a conversation and the conversation it was like oh, i found her I found oh that her. is yes. so nice so then she told me that um, because we were still in holland at the time so she told me that once we arrive in ghana i should let her know and then she would only like me to do uh, some ch checkups here in ghana at, at a hospital so that's what i did i contacted her we met and it was it was love at first sight oh. <laughs> it was love at first That's sight perfect. yes it was like it was all meant to be yeah. so then i found her um yeah we we had some interview like some she came to the house to see the house the room because i, I was giving birth in the room in a pool and um, yeah and that's it and so what hospital did you go to for the checks and how was that experience uh, because the midwife she worked for uh, for some years at the Ghana Canada hospital okay it's in East Legon Ajiringanor oh yeah so, uh, so so that's where I went for the checkups um, and yeah it was just very simple like uh, some scans and just some few questions, but it was very simple. Oh, and then uh, some weeks before birth, I had to do a, a blood check, which I did and everything was good and we were ready to go. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you said that you were doing it in a pool. Did you have to like organize that or did you bring it when you came? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with my first daughter, I had like, so in Holland, I had like a special birth pool. Mm -hmm. uh, like it's, it's blue and it's, it's, it's very comfortable but here in Ghana you, you, you don't find any of them. <laughs> right, yes. So I asked and um, so I also had a doula present oh, okay. at my at my birth and she advised me to look for and uh, it's, it's like it, it, it's actually a small oh, swimming oh. pool oh, for right. children but <laughs> if you see it it's funny but it was so comfortable and so it was just like a normal small swimming pool that I had and okay. it was perfect. Oh, that's good. Birth pool are overrated. <laughs> They're <laughs> overrated. So you had the midwife yes. and the doula. Yes. How did you find your doula? And for those out there who might not know what a doula is, like what is that? A doula, um, so a doula is more someone who is present at your birth um, for your emotional, um, for emotional support because you know, if you are going to give birth in a hospital or even at home or somewhere else, um, if you are in labor, sometimes you need to make decisions for yourself. And but it, it can be very hard. So if you so if you look for a doula, she can help you like with the decision making, for emotional support, um, for your wishes. If you want like some food or like a massage or mm. anything she's there to help you emotionally and then you have the midwife who will be there to help you like yeah, with, with the actual delivery yes yes okay so how yeah. did you find your doula um actually through anna oh right yes okay. so i was because before we moved 
I was asking around, like I was asking people like, so do you know a midwife in Ghana? And then uh, I also spoke to Anna and I asked her as well, like if she knows someone and she told me that she would ask around. And eventually she told me that she knows a doula and I was like, oh, like at, the, at that moment, it, it was the closest thing to, to someone who can help me with birth. So, so I contacted her and it was also, it was perfect. Oh, and, and then great. when we came to Ghana, we also met and it was, it was amazing. So how did the actual birth go, like the experience? Oh, um, <laughs> it started like um, a, the day before I gave birth, eventually. So I was starting having some light contractions and blah, blah, blah. And I, then I was talking to the doula, um, like, what should I do? Or, and she told me, just relax and blah, blah, blah. So the next morning, the cramps became more Intense, intense or yes, and then uh, she came to the house. But what I always said like, was like, if the birth is going to start, I want to go to the beach. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, because it, it's somehow it's like if you go to the beach, no, no, it's, it's just the early stage. Okay, yeah. so so we went to the beach, and I was just like sitting there, just just I was just talking to myself, like. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm gonna have a good birth at home and I can do it and blah, blah, blah. So it, it was very nice. So we, I went to the beach and, and we came back and then the doula was here. And she, she just helped me to prepare the room with the pool and she massaged me and it was just, just relaxing. And then um, after some hours, I think uh, around 11, 12, it became like more intense and then it stopped again. So then we all went to bed, we went to sleep. And uh, I think around three to four, the contractions became like more, more intense and more frequently. And then we called the midwife. She came and, um, and as from that moment, it, it went very quick. Oh, okay. It went very quick, yeah. So, she checked me and then I was like five centimeters. Oh, okay. And at first I was like, oh my God, five centimeters and it, it's going to take so long, but no. <laughs> so it was, I was five centimeters and then um, uh, they got like more intense. I don't, yeah. So when I, um, I was trying to sleep still, but I couldn't. And then she checked me and then I was seven. And then I went inside the pool and then I asked everybody to just leave the room because I felt like there were too many like people. too many people around me at that moment. So I asked everybody to just leave the room and give me a minute. And then I think like after 15 minutes, my husband, um, I was, was also there. He called the midwife because he was like, I think it's going to come, yes. And then I was like, I need to shit. <laughs> Sorry. I need to. But then, but then soon I was like, no, it's the head. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, she's coming. Right. Yes. Yeah, she's coming. Yes. So then the midwife came and the doula came, and then a few minutes after she was born. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yes. You got to do it at home with yeah. like your family around the way yeah. you wanted it. Yeah. I would re recommend it to everybody to like. If there is no medical reason for it, you can really like do it at, at home. Because mm -hmm. at home you are, you feel more relaxed, you're more comfortable. And the main thing you need when you give birth is to feel relaxed and feel comfortable. Because yeah. I, you know, and it's also that I feel like there are too many stories, like horror stories about birth. And I know that, um, I'm sure that not everybody can do a home birth because of some medical reasons and, and, and et cetera. But I know that uh, if more people did it at home, there would be like less complications and yeah, et cetera. Like less medical intervention. Exactly, because I don't want to speak about only the hospitals here in Ghana, but like it's everywhere. That, because every birth is like the, the very different, you know, like we all have, have our own birth story, but like the hospitals have like one protocol, mm -hmm. you know? So th they soon like do interventions or, you know, like emergency C-section. And I'm sure that 
It's yeah. not always necessary, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but... I agree, like I did, I didn't do a home birth, but I did in the birthing center, which yes. is basically like, I don't know if they have those in Holland. Yes, so it's you like do. it's like separate from the labor ward. And yes. It's just like a nice pool. It's more like a hotel room. Yes. Um, and it has like no um, medication, no intervention yes. yeah. um, for both of my kids. And I, I did like research before about hypnobirthing. Yes. About just like how your body like it's made for this exactly um, yeah and i actually think here in ghana like my dad was born at home like a lot of people do have their children at home because there's no option not even yeah. that it's a choice you know what yes. I mean? like they just so, so that's what so one of my things was before we came i was like so, so when we come to ghana it would be the easiest thing for me to find a midwife here in ghana because it, it, in my head i was like you know in the villages yeah. or anything they all do home births so, so it's like normal mm -hmm. but somehow here it's i don't know everybody told me you're crazy and you should you shouldn't do it do go to a hospital and blah 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 but so i don't know what what makes it that every like everybody is so scared of like home birth and so that's all also the main reason that i wanted to do like the interview and, and just speak about it because I, so i also speak about it like on instagram and i mm -hmm. received so many messages from other women who were like oh i didn't know it, it was possible to do a birth like this or, or thank you and when my time comes i want to do the same and I'm yeah, happy about yeah, that. No, so that that's, so, much so my my job is done because yeah. it's because you know it's it's such a beautiful thing. It, it can be a, a beautiful thing mm -hmm. and and like as for now, there are too many like horror stories mm -hmm. and but I, I yeah, just want everybody more, like positive. Yes, stories I just want like everybody yours. to know that it's possible to, like uh -huh. to have a beautiful birth, yeah. to do it at home with your husband around you, with your mother, with your, with just anyone who you, you like to be there or how you want you can walk freely you, you can you can do anything you like in your own space you know and as for hospitals it's more like you're restricted mm -hmm. there are strangers around you and like like so I, I, even this morning i spoke to someone who, who told me like a story about a hospital here in ghana and it's crazy like they, they literally like came uh, the, the women in, in labor if, if they don't listen to you or yes oh my god it's, it's terrible it's terrible that's so so bad yeah so but so just know yeah, there are positive al stories there's, there's alternatives there are positive stories yeah. and yeah I mean I was the same when I went I was in labor at home and it was going quite fast yeah and as soon as I walked into the hospital because of the bright lights and it's like clinical it's not a natural place yes they slowed down it, it's and, I, true. and I just thought after that I was like if I just stayed at home you know yeah. like she would have probably come out yeah. so much quicker yeah. yes. um, and yeah when people are trying to tell you to do this do that I mean people were like I told them I don't want any medication and they kept saying oh would you not do this would you not do that Epidural, I'm like no I don't yeah. I don't want it and I yeah. told you that from the start um, so yeah no like I, I praise you for yeah, doing that at home thank and for you. sharing your story and it's just that in hospitals it's like they make the birth about them mm. instead of what they the mother like yes yeah, like the you who are in labor and your wishes because you have to feel like comfortable and everything mm -hmm. it's not about you you just there to support me you know so mm -hmm. so that's one of the, also one of the reasons why i just wanted to do it at home like in, in my own space i, I can control it and mm -hmm. so yeah. Oh, nice. yeah and so how has it been since then with your baby how old is she now she's almost three months oh, yes she's amazing. almost three months yes and she's she's been amazing so I'm, I'm breastfeeding she's growing well so nothing to complain like you know i'm here in the house i have like people around me that that's uh i i would recommend it to everybody like to just be around people because like i said with my first daughter I was at home a lot because I was also stubborn. I was like, no, I don't want you to come. I want to be alone. And but it was so hard. Mm. And um, but now we, we I did it differently, and I'm so glad we did. That like we made the move, and only the moves itself 
I like the, the whole environment, the sun, the people, the food. It, it, it just makes you makes you feel relaxed. So I had a good pregnancy and then the birth and and also for now, you know, I have people around me to help with my oldest daughter and you get to enjoy yes, having a baby. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's just relieving, you know, with with that with the things in the house, cleaning and cooking. It, like it, you don't have to do everything. Yeah. If you can get the help, I would mm -hmm. definitely recommend it to everybody. Oh. One other thing which is so random and not related to childbirth <laughs> is that I saw you're vegan yes. here. Yes. How do you find it? Because some people say I'm also vegetarian. Yeah. Some people are like, oh, it's difficult. And I actually thought it was difficult before I made the move. Yeah. So how have you found it being vegan here? Actually, very easy. It's only if you if you like those things, like you know, vegan Ben and Jerry's or all oh, you know right. all those like things. The processed. Yes. Things. Yes you don't find them here or if you do it's like so expensive but as for uh, like the like normal food it's so easy because if you go outside there's fresh fruits on the roadside you have fresh coconuts you have like and all the local dishes it's mm -hmm. so easily to make them vegan mm -hmm. so you don't need like the meats or fish or eggs with with all the dishes so it's actually very easy like everybody's asking me like ah, how is it and isn't it not difficult and in Ghana where there's only meat blah 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 but no but do you not find sometimes when you're in restaurants people are like what but are you not gonna have meat people say that to me they're like but what protein and I'm like no I don't eat no meat. I <laughs> must say not? no I must say in the restaurants I don't really hear it but oh. as for my family members you know if you go to family <laughs> parties or anything and then they ask you and you say, no, I don't eat meat. Or even my youngest daughter, she also doesn't eat meat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so everybody's like, oh, why? And then, like, <laughs> and they don't really understand oh, it, right, but, okay, yeah. but no. But, but as for now, they all understand it. And oh, that's good. yeah, so they, the, all the foods they prepare for us are without meat. And then my husband eats meat. I'm oh, still working okay. on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so no, it's, it's amazing, actually. Oh. Follow Naomi on Instagram because <laughs> she you. shares great things on there. Like Thank you're so you. inspirational Thank and you. like share a lot of positive stories, stuff like yes, that. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah. And if you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you're notified every time I make an upload. See you later. Bye. Bye.